Welcome. In this video, we're going to answer the question of whether you will owe income tax if your student loans are forgiven. So stay tuned, bankruptcy bailout buddies. Welcome, debtors and borrowers, to bankruptcy bailout because debt ruins lives, not bankruptcy. My name is Matt Burkus, Colorado bankruptcy and student loan lawyer, and today we're going to answer the question, will you owe income tax if your student loans are forgiven? The short and fast answer is possibly yes. But let's dive into the issues and talk about uh, the various current events going uh, swirling around about forgiveness of student loans. So this video will be useful to you, whether you're contemplating, whether you hope President Biden will sign an executive order for giving his student loans, or whether you're on an income-driven repayment program or other type of path to student loan forgiveness. So the issue is, well, will you owe income tax on that? First, let's dive into the legal issue of whether President Biden can actually forgive student loans by executive order. I think the answer is probably yes, but we have to clear up one misconception that seems to be floating around out there. Forgiving uh, student loan debt is not going to require the government to pay off the borrower student loans. And the reason for that is that the government owns $1.2 trillion worth of the outstanding $1.6 trillion of student loan debt. And why is that? In 2010, President Obama took over the student loan industry. Prior to 2010, student loans were funded by private banks and the federal government would simply guarantee the loans. That all changed in 2010. So since 2010, the government directly funds student loans and holds that debt in its name. So the government is the owner of the, the loans and therefore uh, when, why uh, they're even considering doing an executive order to forgive student loan debt is you don't need a congressional appropriation of funds to pay off the student loan debt. The government controls the debt. Makes sense so far. Now, I think, I, I, haven't, I can't say that I've researched the issue, but my semi-educated opinion is I think the federal government or the president could issue an executive order for giving at least some amount of government-owned uh, student loans. If that happens, I'm sure the issue will get litigated and a court uh, will make a decision on the issue, but the Department of Education is already vested with authority to forgive student loans under various programs, and so the more narrow issue is, does that authority extend to the president simply directing the Department of Education to forgive student loans because of reasons? All right, we'll find out. So now that there's been all this talk about forgiving student loan debt, a lot of borrowers have suddenly discovered the concept of forgiven debt income. Well, what is that? Well, in the tax code, if a borrower has their debt forgiven or eliminated by the lender, the IRS is going to treat that forgiven portion of debt as income to the borrower. And that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because after all, you're getting a windfall. If you borrow $30,000 and you don't have to pay it back all of a sudden, well, that's a windfall or income event for you. And Uncle Sam wants its take. So that's the concept of forgiven debt income. So how it works, excuse me, how it works for student loans is, so let's say you get a portion of your student loans forgiven what happens is, is that portion simply gets added to your gross income. So it's not as if you pay a separate tax on it. It's, there's not like a capital gains tax on the gain, like you have a capital gains or anything like that. It's simply that if you have $10,000 of debt forgiven, that $10,000 is simply is going to get added to what other, whatever other income you have. And then if that adjusted tax basis causes you to pay more tax, it causes you to pay more tax. So that's how it works, all right? And so as the letter of the law stands right now, the answer is yes, if your student loans are forgiven, whether by executive order by President Biden, or if you come to the end of your income-driven repayment program or public service loan forgiveness, you will have an income event and you'll get a 1099C 
evidencing that income event. So the issue, do you actually have to pay tax on that? Well, your individual circumstances will determine whether you owe tax. But like I already said, it simply gets added to your income. And if you haven't been withholding enough from other sources of income, yeah, you're probably going to have a slightly higher tax bill than you would otherwise. But in addition to that, there's also exceptions to paying tax on, or I should say specifically, <laughs> there's an exception to counting that income or counting that forgiven debt as income on your taxes. And I think the main exception that's going to apply to student loan borrowers is the insolvency exception. And the IRS has a worksheet for that. The form for this, the IRS form is form 982. Again, 982 is the IRS form. And the insolvency exception has a worksheet that goes along with it. But the long and short of it is that if you're insolvent at the time the debt is forgiven, you don't have to count that forgiven debt as income on your tax returns. And therefore, I think a lot of student loan borrowers are going to qualify for that insolvency exception because I suspect that whatever student loan forgiveness may actually come about by executive order, it's going to be means tested in some way. So it's not going to be a blanket forgiveness of you know all student loan debt uh, or even you know the first 10,000 of all borrowers. It's you're going to have to qualify, and that qualification is probably going to be based on some sort of income uh, history of income. You know, so for example, you know if you have an emergency room doctor making $400,000 a year and you know they have $200,000 of student loan debt, they're probably not gonna have, the forgiveness is probably not going to apply to them. However, if you're making $30,000 a year and you have $50,000 of student loan debt, I suspect that whatever means test they do, that person is going to qualify. And then the issue becomes their most, however they do the qualification, it's most likely going to allow the individual to qualify for the insolvency exception uh, in the IRS code to paying tax on the forgiven debt, uh, on, the, on the amount of the forgiven debt. And then the only lingering issue, and they may be aware of this or not, the other, only other lingering legal issue is can the president waive the forgiven debt uh, income event uh, as part of his executive order? I think that legal position is more tenuous. I don't know that the president would have the authority to waive that because that's embedded in the IRS code and it applies to other debts besides student loans. So it's not clear the president has the carp launch ability to forgive, or I should say waive, the forgiven debt income tax. That might require legislation. But again, right now we're in a wait and see mode. But as to the answer to the question, will you owe tax on forgiven student loan debt? You will have a taxable event, right? You will have debt that's forgiven that's more than $600, and therefore that's a taxable event. And the only question becomes, will you actually have to count that as income on your taxes? The answer is yes, you'll have to count it unless you can qualify for an exception. And the main exception is going to be the insolvency exception as outlined on form IRS form 982. Best of luck to you. My name is Matt Burkus, Colorado bankruptcy and student loan uh, attorney. I offer free initial phone consultations to the residents of Colorado for the purposes of bankruptcy, and I help student loan borrowers nationwide obtain the relief that they need. Good luck, and let's see what happens.